Hello, hello. I'm currently crouched on the bedroom floor because I don't want to get my little tripod out because I'm going out. So, I have the day off and like any sane person would, I'm going to go to Meadow Hall. That's a Sheffield shopping centre, if you didn't know. And Ikea, because I love to make terrible life choices. So, I just want to get some little bits from Meadow Hall. I want to look in Kenji. I want to look in Tiger because there's a tiger there now. I want to look in Typo for no reason. And I'm going to go to Ikea and have some meatballs and dan cake and buy some stuff that we don't really need we need like a storage box but then i'm probably just gonna get like some cat like a load of candles and stuff so please join me on the journey i'll do a little <laughs> a little vloggy style video today i don't know normally I'm not, I'm not a big vlogger you know so i thought i would treat you take you along on the journey at my solo Ikea trip. I've never been on my own before, so hope I don't get lost. I'll start you off with my lovely outfit of the day. I got on my cow print jeans. I got on some tie-dye socks. I need to put some shoes on. I tie-dyed these. Got my little My Chemical Romance. I'm not okay, I promise t-shirt. And oh, just this little crochet cardigan. I didn't make this, my best friend did. I love it, it's so cute. It came in the post and I nearly cried, like legitimately, because I'm like, it's so gorgeous. I honestly nearly cried and I'm like, I got crying because I miss her as well. I'm so soft. Should we look at the face as well? It's really good lighting today. She got short hair. She got some eyeliner on, different colors. I'm, I'm so quirky. <laughs> These earrings were also made by my bestest best friend. I'm just, I'm repping her today. And just a little cute necklace. Yeah, my I'm not okay, I promise t-shirt. Because <laughs> I just think that's really funny. But yes. Let's go. Let's go to Ikea. I have to get the bus. No, I'm going to Meadow Wall first. I have to get the bus and then the tram. Go to Meadow Wall. Get the tram back to Ikea. Get the tram back to town. Get the bus back to my house. All in time for my 5pm nail appointment tonight. Ah! That should be my thumbnail. I went to Ikea, Meadow Wall and nail appointment in one day. Not clickbait. Right, let's go. Accidentally got on the wrong tram because I'm a dope. Accidentally got on the wrong tram because I'm a dope. I don't know if you can hear me with my mask on. I get on the tram train, which goes to Ikea, but it doesn't go to Meadow Wall Interchange, so I made a mistake. So I have to wait six minutes for a yellow tram. Ugh. Ugh. Ooh, what time is it now? 10 30. Where am I? Oh, that. Okay, I'm not even on here. This is fine. <laughs> oh, so this was my first time ever going to Kenja, which it was an experience. I just wanted to buy everything. Everything's really cute. So everything was like really like well priced, like little bits, like socks and the little mirrors and stuff, and like notebooks were like two to three pounds. So I'm uh, very much looking forward to going again and just stocking up on bits for like little stock and filler presents for people or you know when someone's like oh crap it's her birthday just go and grab it for him i like that notepad with the froggy on it as well everything was just so cute oh it was the best i'm so excited to go again and buy a load of stuff i just love tap i'm just reliving like my weeb days you know what i mean I love this little keychain with a bum on it. <laughs> also, I was so tempted to buy all these stickers and things, but I have no need for stickers, but they're so cute though. Cute as well. They're so, they're so cute. cute, you were correct, Louise. I feel like it would have been nice to take a selfie on this flower wall, you know? Slap this guy on his bald head. And such a nice selection of pens. These were like 80p, I think. I was annoyed they don't have a froggy one, though. They have a sloth, but they don't have a froggy. I just wanted a froggy. And this was the collection from the local small artist. I've seen her work a lot, and I really like it. So, nice to see. And I want to set all these weebles wobbling. I hope you're enjoying this very ambient voiceover, because there's also some of the organic sound from the shop as well going on. Ooh people buying stuff, check out beeping, ASMR, loveliness, Ugh, this stuff's so cute. 
the food was really overpriced though but i mean it is what it is people will buy it but if you just go to like a chinese supermarket you can get this stuff for half the price if you're in sheffield get a kh oriental because that is a sensational chinese supermarket slash general asian supermarket i love it in there and they have all this stuff at like half the price because it's like two pound for a can of something whereas it is definitely like around one pound there but people buy it obviously it's cute stuff it's like very aesthetically arranged but just got a kh man it's way cheaper Got myself a bubble tea because I deserve it. <laughs> Got rainbow bubbles in it. Ooh, it looks horrid. It'll be nice though. I deserve a treat. <laughs> I've left the house today. <laughs> they had a really nice like collab range in typo with Keith Haring and what are the rugs? But they were like 40 quid and I'm not paying 40 quid for a rug. The cushions were really cute as well. And the bowls. The bowls. I didn't want to carry it though back to IKEA and then home but they're really nice i like it in taiko i like all the socks that they have and like these bum parts they're just bums bums and boobs <laughs> i love it <laughs> it's great i love to I love to treat myself uh, i had a really disappointing time in taiga i didn't buy anything it was i just didn't, didn't fancy anything you know really sad I love all this like Valentine's stuff though. I'm a little, I'm sapper. I love hearts. I really regret not buying that yarn bowl. I really, I'm kicking myself. I should have got that yarn bowl. That would have been so handy for my crochet. And this yarn was really nice as well, but it was like a fiver and I'm not paying a fiver for yarn and tiger. Oh, regrets. She's here, she's here, she's here, Ikea. <laughs> Do you like my little song? <laughs> We're here at Ikea, woohoo. Oh my God, the sun's really bright. It's Ikea, ah. I'm gonna go get some meatballs and cake and a mirror or something and some candles. I look really bold today. <laughs> Damn, I really should have said, we're here, we're queer. We love to go Ikea. That would have been better. Keep that one in as well. Oh snap, there's a really fancy looking Greg's over there. I've not been here in ages. Now, I had to come and get food first because I was ravenous. Bad news, didn't have any dime bar cakes. I had to get cheesecake. But I did get 12 plant bowls and mash and peas and gravy and jam. <laughs> and some lingonberry. Delicious. This is almost the sofa we have, but ours is in pink, and this was, this is 850 quid, and we got ours for 50 pounds off Facebook Marketplace. I don't even think this one's a sofa bed either. I think it's just a big sofa. Ours is better. We love a poang. An iconic. We love. Real books, do you reckon? Yeah, I guess they are. Cute. Damn, that's expensive for a sofa.
This is the second best bit in Ikea after the calf. <gasps> Big dinosaurs. Little dinosaurs. <gasps> I have one of the pandas at my parents' house. A big snack. <laughs> I love. You're so cuddly. Yeah, that's a big fat bear here. That's a big fat bear. What's he called? Like Grundig or something. I love the rainbow Ikea bags. Each one of the little ones as well. Yay. Oh, another amazing part of Ikea. The candles. I love them. Ooh, shall I get myself some tea lights? I don't need any. I'm gonna buy them anyway. <laughs> this is cute. I got flower. <laughs> the fake flower zone. Do they feel good? Ooh, they feel crispy. I don't need any plants, I don't need any plants, I don't need any plants, but I want them. They're so cute and so big. Hey, hi, hello. I have the goods. And I have a brew. Because I'm absolutely gasping. A brew in my mug with my horrible children on it. <sighs> Honestly, I feel really tired. <laughs> I've done 8,600 steps today. And I still have to go and get my nails done in a bit. And um, can you be bothered? <sighs> I did it all with time to spare for my nail appointment. Yay. So I'll start off with the Ikea bag. Because I feel like this is practical stuff. Some of it's practical. Some of it's just stuff. Oh, Treacle's rootling around as well. So she might come and join us. Or she might just be a little nuisance so first off we got the <laughs> the classic ikea bag we have loads of these but my dad wanted one he said if you go to ikea get me a bag so there we go i got him a bag <laughs> i'm a good dog <laughs> he likes the ikea bags for what reason i don't know it's my receipt oh god mm, these giant digestive biscuits I'm kidding, they're heatproof trivets made out of cork. We have some of these, uh, but we need some more because they're really handy and very cheap. Boring. Got two of these. Parklas. Where's the other one? Parklas. Just like a the soil all over these because I bought a plant and it's gone everywhere. Just the big storage boxes, well like zip up storage bags because we've got some under bed storage. Boring, they were like £1.50 though and we needed them. Practical. A shower curtain? That's John, shower curtain. It's green. <laughs> we have an Ikea shower curtain at the minute and it is actually quite nice. This is the plant. Uh, I think it's some kind of aloe, maybe. It says succulent gasteria batiana, but I feel like it's an aloe, though, for some reason, or like a haworthia, even though the label says something different. It's giving me that. Yeah, I got this for my mum. So I'm going to gift to her for her birthday, on Mother's Day, whichever one's first, I think it's birthday, in this nice little pot. Not from Ikea, but it's just a nice little pot. Does that sound good? I don't know where the microphone. I still haven't found out where the microphone is. Wherever it is. I'm getting my nails cut all short when I get them done because this one, I'm not flipping you off. This one broke and let everyone down, so. Some gentle plant pot ASMR for you. But yeah, I thought that was nice and it was very cheap. Oh, here's the stuff that I bought for no reason some tea lights. The soil all over all of these, I apologise. What flavour are these? It's like vanilla ice cream. And the cherry flavour ones as well. We do use a lot of tea lights actually. I like them for when I'm in the bath. That's a life hack. Treacle, you okay? Life hack is just light the candle. Treacle's um, having zoomies, so apologies if you can hear her scratching around. 
a fisk bowl, a little photo frame. I might put a nice photo with it of like me and my mom or me and my dad, I don't know. Something. It's a family affair today. Oh yeah, this is the only reason I went in as well to get some lawn sass mirror. Oh, you can see the disarray of our table. Hi. Oh, look, that, you can see me in there, but almost. Uh, so yeah, I only ran in for some lawn sass. Uh, these little mirror dudes. Because I'm going to do a little craft with them. I'm going to do a little craft afternoon. I'm just feeling like a little crafty lady at the minute. I got <laughs> two of these. <laughs> the <They're> like... <laughs> it's the Sostromas. Uh, the little rainbow, like shoulder bag, tote bag version. <laughs> Why not? two of those and then <laughs> oh I've got soil all over my jeans <laughs> my my best purchase I got um three of the I don't know what the little bags are called three of the little bags <laughs> I was thinking oh, I'll wear them on my je <laughs> jeans on my on the jeans <laughs> yeah I thought the, the bags, the, these rainbow ones as well. I got one for me, one for my partner. I'm like, hmm. Like, is it? Is it too much? A little pair of Ikea bag earrings? <laughs> Am I being insane? Oh, I might just keep one, give one to my partner and give one to my uh, friend as a little gift. But I'm like, hey, this, they're cute. I'll give one to Reg and he can have his little Ikea haul. <gasps> but anyway, I bought three of those because I'm a crazy person. And obviously the big Ikea bag that's got loads of soil in it. <sighs> Look at this cardigan as well. I can't get enough. Stunning. When I get this good at crochet, it's over for you guys. I'm just going to be making so many cardigans. Right, that's that. What else did I buy? Oh, as a bonus, I went into uh, Fred Aldous, which is a like really fancy and a little bit expensive uh, like arts and crafts and stationery shop. Uh, just for funsies, so I got some green leather paint, which is a really hideous colour. Do you want to focus on that, or are you just focusing on my face? Do my YouTuber thing. So I have some like really hideous green leather paint uh, because I was going to paint some shoes and the shoes I was going to paint were at my parents' house and my mum threw them away because she thought they were rubbish. <laughs> and she said, you can just buy another pair. And I said, well, that's not the point. I shouldn't have to buy another pair. So I'm going to have to find a pair of shoes in the charity shop because I want to paint them with this hideous green leather paint. Surprisingly well-priced was the... Uh, was the leather paint because when I've seen them online, oops, I've dropped it. They're a lot more expensive, but Fred Aldous, it was like a fiver, which is expensive for a tiny little thing of paint, but whatever. And I also got some Fimo air dry clay because I am just feeling, I'm feeling really crafty at the minute, you know? I want to make some stuff. I want to make, I've started buying loads of rings and I want to make a little like trinket dish slash with the little ring holder in the middle to put my rings in and my partner has a load of like paints and like Posca pens for me to decorate with so lovely Ugh, I'm just feeling I'm in a crafty little mood just feeling crafty at the minute say crafty again crafty what's in my other bag of tricks let's see I just gone in today I've just bought a load of stuff so much stuff that I didn't need to buy. Yeah, I uh, didn't film, but I went into Lush. I'm sorry. I got a little, little, little few bits. But yeah, I went into the one in Meadow Wall. Sorry, I'm just staring into my tote bag to get my Lush stuff out. Uh, which I never normally go into that one. I usually go to the one that's in the city centre. Excuse me. But yeah, uh, I just thought, mm, I'll go in. I'll grace them with my presents. 
uh, just have a look at the Valent Valentine's stuff. I had this <laughs> bath bomb that's a little lobster. I think he's called like Mr. Lover Lover. <laughs> like Mr. Lover Lover, but like lobster. Why why won't you focus on the lobster dude? There we go. Stunning. I love him, little lobster boy. He's great. Uh so that's a little bath bomb. Smells really good. Uh I also got a mask of Magnaminta. One of the big boys, because I'm nearly out of my face mask, and that's really a nice one. And the Lime Bounty Body Butter, which is, ugh, this is like one of my favourite Lush products that they've ever brought out. It smells so good. And I've nearly finished my uh, one that I have at the minute, so I thought I'd treat myself. It's really lethal when I have a day off work, because I just go shopping and spend more money than I would earn at that day of work. So I need to not have time off, but... I love having time off. And my last bit I got in Lush, I picked up the Rose Jam Body Spray, which is actually a gift. It's not for me. So it doesn't count that I spent like 25 quid on it. But it's a gift. It's not for me. I don't I don't need it. I have enough body sprays. So I went in Tiger. Because there's a Tiger in Middle now, which is amazing. And um, didn't have anything that I wanted. I didn't just want to buy anything for the sake of it. <laughs> my morals are so strong but yeah i don't want anything which was disappointing because i love well, i love having a mooch around tiger i just like looking at all the stuff that went typo God, i love typo now it's just like paper chase but elevated so it's just like mm, to sell a load of stuff and they had like a new collab range with keith herring and i like keith herring uh i was gonna get the like noodle bowl as a present for my friend but then I was like this is 15 pounds and I have to carry it I'm like I like my friend but do I 15 pound noodle bowl like him I don't know uh so I got something different instead so I bought him this pair of socks how lovely and I was six pounds and then I bought the same ones in white for myself uh because the other ones wouldn't fit me because they're for like medium to large feet and these are for small to medium and i'm just a small to medium gal uh, and the socks are actually six pounds each but then they were like three for 12 somehow so the last on the till was like oh go grab another pair like absolutely i got these ones because i knew they were really cute and also i bought a tote bag in there that i <laughs> didn't need but i uh I love tote bags. Isn't that gorgeous? Ugh. I love the typo tote bags. They're just huge. Ugh. Yeah, I love that. <laughs> I don't need more tote bags, but I keep buying them. Oh, and last. Last but by no means least, I have never been in Kenji before. Uh, and it's just like Japanese inspired like homeware and hat uh i've never been in before and jesus christ it's the best place in the world oh my god i love it so much i was just amazed by everything and it was like weirdly cheap as well uh see so yeah, i got some bits and also i didn't know they like showcase like local artists and stuff uh because i bought something from a local artist that was in there so very chuffed with that let me just have a brew break I feel like I need a chocolate bar or something. I'm like, my blood sugar is low. I've done so many steps today. I need a nap. I'll go get my nails done in like an hour and a half. And I've got more of the same tomorrow because I'm off tomorrow as well. So I'll do a little vlog of all the crap I'm getting up to and I'll show you my nails. I'll probably put a little clip in the end of this, like here are my nails. But then I'll just show them in the next video as well. Just for fancies. Because I, I don't know. When I'm off work, I'll do, I'll do some little vlogs for you. Anyway, I'm just rambling now. Let me finish my tea. That was a nice brew. If I do say so myself. Because I made it myself. So yes, went to Kenji. <sighs> what a shop. How much were the things? Wow, everything was really cheap, actually. Anyway, 
anyway so i got some more socks these are one size fits all uh <laughs> so this one with like broken eggs on it cute this one of this little zebra moment oh, stop focusing on my face and this one with arms on it and these were two pound each which i thought was really good so i am thinking i'll stick one pair uh i'll probably stick two pairs two pairs in like the uh gift hamper that we have that's just like little bits just to gift people you know and i'll give one pair to my partner i'm so generous so yeah, they were two pounds each which is really really good oh, and these mirrors these mirrors are two pound each as well there's just some crud on this one let me get it off there's just inexplicable crud and then it's gone on my carpet and my carpet uh is covered in cat hair so bear with me all right there we go i've got most of the crud off so these little pocket mirrors, these were £2 each as well. Like, not there's the crud there. <laughs> the remnants of the crud. Oh, so cute. Little, like, pancake cats. So cute. They had round ones as well, which... Adorable. And I got another one, which is little shebies. You're also really cute. So I'm gonna keep one and give one to my friend May. Um, I think I'll keep the little cats and she can have the shebies when I see her. Yeah, they were like two pounds, which I thought was a great price. And then, ooh, forgot about this guy. He's a little, he's a little like Weeble Wobble, but not a Weeble, cause Weeble is a, Weeble is a brand. Do you want to focus on my little little kitten guy? He's so cute. Yeah, he's just wobbly. I think this is three quid. But I got it as a gift for my friend Sue Locus. She loves Japan. And uh, she likes cats. So I thought that was, that was like a cute little thing to get. But yeah. He's adorable. I like him a lot. Got, got this for some reason. Why did I get this? Anyway, it's just a hook for over the door, but it's a cat as well. <laughs> and this is a quid. Just handy for hanging your coats up or whatever. But it's a cat. And my last bit. This is the bit that I got from local seller. I don't remember what she's called, so I'll just link her down below because I'll I'll see and I'll remember. <gasps> these little these earrings. But he's a ghost. You know focus on him. Stunning. No? Yes? He's a little ghost trapped in a jar. adorable they're made out of like acrylic or something and they are absolutely bloody gorgeous and i love them i love them so much anyway that was uh what i bought today in ikea and in metawall a lot of crap basically gotta love it i'll put a little clip in at the end of me showing off my new set of nails i don't know what i'm gonna get yet but I won't be able to do this anymore. <laughs> I won't be able to do that anymore because they're going to be little short boys. But yes, I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye, guys. Hot off the presses. Nail reveal. I love them. They're so cute. Ah!